everybody can join us today on Earth Power. Welcome to the program. I'm Ayola Kasim. Everything that is needed to build a modern society is provided by nature. And according to the Living Planet Report by the WWF, these services are worth around $125 trillion a year. The Living Planet Report says the biggest cause of wildlife losses is the destruction of natural habitat, much of it to create farmlands. African elephants, which once roamed across most of the continent, have lost more than 50% of their ranges. Today on the program, we look at some of the efforts being made to help the population of these magnificent animals. Do stay with us. Elephants live in almost any habitat that provides plentiful food and water. Their populations are scattered throughout the savanna of sub-Saharan Africa and about 70% of their range exists in protected land. In Tanzania's Grumeti Game Reserve, next to Serengeti National Park, elephants roam. Rangers sleep more peacefully at night and poachers have been put on notice thanks to new technology designed to protect one of the world's most endangered species. As a response to the surge in ivory poaching in Africa, where elephant population fell around 20% between 2006 and 2015, United States philanthropist and Microsoft co-founder Paul Allen and technologists from his company Vulcan Incorporated have developed Earth Ranger. In its early stages of development, the tech platform was named the Domain Awareness System. From Earth Rangers Operations Room in Rumeti, the rangers view screens where they can observe every elephant which has been outfitted with a tracking collar. What we do with DAS is we monitor all our assets, every colored animal, and we also input data which in turn helps us make decisions and plan um, operations on when, when we extract the data and analyze it. The tech platform aggregates remote sensor readings of animal movements, trackers and radios and vehicles, camera trap photos and data from GPS-powered geofences to give rangers in wildlife reserves and parks such as Grumeti a clear view of protected areas. The platform alerts them when threats are picked up through the data. So Earth Ranger allows you to, uh, it takes you from being, uh, from being reactive and always behind and always after an animal has been killed or a ranger has been injured or killed to being proactive, to really being able to anticipate and get ahead of the problem. And, uh, and that not only helps you save the animals and hopefully saves the rangers' lives, uh, it makes you able to use uh, all of your resources uh, more efficiently and more effectively and, and stretches those conservation dollars. Game scout Gutera Gamba said the technology has made the conservation work he and other scouts do far easier and more efficient, saving the lives of elephants and protecting staff on the reserve from poachers. Our job used to be very difficult because if there was a threat, it would take a very long time for us to go out and respond. You had to take lots of notes and keep in constant communication with the control room. But with DAS, now Ed Ranger communication, takes just seconds and in a short while we get our work done. In my opinion, things have become easier and more professional. The developers say the system is also helping curb human wildlife conflict in places like Kenya and providing a network for conservationists in the region to collaborate. Reports show that while many people in the West regard elephants with affection and admiration, the animals often inspire fear and danger in those who share their land. Loss of life occur on both sides as people may be trampled while trying to protect their livelihoods. And game guards often shoot those they called problem elephants. 34-year-old Yusuf Bachara lives in the Chari Valley, some 500 kilometers from Injamina, the capital of Chad. 
He's one of many farmers who lose their crops when the elephants raid their farms and kill livestock. I am scared because when I find elephants in the field, I can't chase them away. I don't know how to chase them. I have tried several times and failed. For now, there is nothing we can do. I am not happy because of the elephants. But their presence has brought the military here, so we feel more secure. As African elephant range becomes more and more fragmented, and as elephants get confined into smaller pockets of suitable habitat, habitats contract and human populations expand. People and elephants are increasingly coming into contact where farms border elephant habitat or cross elephant migration corridors. Damage to crops and villages can become commonplace. This often leads to conflicts that elephants invariably lose. In March 2018, a hunter in Ondo State, southwest Nigeria, killed an elephant who said his action was a patriotic act to defend his people against attacks by elephants that had frequently been straying into and destroying the village and six other adjoining villages. Later in July, the administrator of Yankari Game Reserve in Bochi confirmed that elephants killed two persons near Bajama village close to the reserve. And in August, three elephants strayed into Zaria Kalakala village in Koko Besu local government area of Kebi State in northwest Nigeria. Authorities in these areas are working to avoid clashes between the farmers and elephants, which may further reduce the numbers of elephants in the country. So we believe it is important for us to be seriously committed, and we are committed to that cause. Uh, just about a month ago, in the northwestern part of the country, in KB State, three elephants stray out of their habitats because of the flooding that took place around July, and the governor of that state was magnanimous enough to protect them and ask the locals to take care of them. And we had to send the conservative general of the National Park Services to go and take care. As I'm talking to you now, we are even sending supplements to make sure that these three elephants are equally um, heavily protected so that nobody goes to harm them. So we are committed because we believe we are not only just serving the animals, but we are serving humanity. We owe it as a duty to get the generation on board to see what we have, what we have inherited from our parents and grandparents long after they have gone. Once widespread across the whole of Nigeria, elephants have declined by more than 50% in less than 20 years, and it is certain that fewer savannah elephants survive across the country today. Most of the remaining elephant populations are small, fragmented, and probably not viable in the long term. Reliable, up-to-date information about many of these small herds is generally lacking. The largest and most important elephant herd remaining in the country is located at Yankari Game Reserve, where an estimated 100 to 150 elephants survive. The Nigerian government says it is committed to protect these elephants. Nigeria is a huge country. It's a population of over 180 million people and covers a wide range of uh, ecological zones, from the savanna to the rainforest area. So with this large expense of land, commitment is important because we need to protect the biodiversity of our country. So I see a situation where the huge land mass, the huge population will leverage on the African country, particularly those African sub I expect the country to take a lead to be able to show others the way to move forward. Back in the early part of the 20th century, there may have been as many as three to five million African elephants. But there are now around 415,000. In most African nations today, the real and perceived cost of human elephant conflict generally outweigh the potential benefits. And so, elephants are increasingly being excluded from many parts of their former range. Once the elephants are gone, however, the local communities will have lost a valuable asset, while at the same time, contributing to the loss of biodiversity and overall degradation of the ecosystems on which they depend for their livelihoods.
Elephants are migratory species and some of them, they are coming back, they are coming home. So this gives us hope because at some point it also brings kind of restoration of the ecosystem services. We strengthen legislation and we just don't want people to be convicted, but we want them to change their behavior on top of all. So environmental education, awareness is one of the big and strongest points on the NIP for Angola. Zakuma National Park covers almost 1,200 square miles and contains what researchers is said to be likely Africa's largest remaining elephant herd. With over 500 individuals calling the extensive landscape of Savannah home. This doesn't tell the whole story though. At the start of the 21st century, there were some 4,000 elephants in Zakuma. But between 2006 and 2010, this population plummeted to just 400 as a result of extensive poaching. Outside the Zakuma Park, elephants still roam, scattered in unprotected areas around Sudan and the Central African Republic. The Chadian government has assigned an armed unit to the remaining population, but many are still worried. We are waiting, we are waiting elephants to come. Elephants are just over there, right there in the bush area. So we wait until they come outside. Domia is an elephant ecology expert with the Elephant Protection Initiative. He says the main threat to elephants in Chad, and indeed Africa, is mainly inadequate planning. We usually mention poaching as the main, as the first uh, traits for elephants. But for me, definitely the first, the main treat for elephants here, specifically here in Chad, is the loss of habitat. And this is mainly due to the, to the weakness in land planning that not take sufficiently into account the conservation. Because you need to set up specific protected area for those wildlife in general and for those giants, you know, elephants and other large mammals like uh, buffalo, like uh, lion, like uh, uh, leopard, like um, a rhino, they are giant, they need space. And uh, they cannot, they are dangerous for population. They can, you cannot uh, uh, keep protect or conserve them within villages, within farms. So, given that, one, they need large space, one, they are dangerous for, for local population, you need to separate those animals, those national, biological, natural heritage from where the population are settled, specifically where the population are heavily inhabited, and where there is another uh, uh, economic activities or, or other economic uh, opportunity for these specific areas. The African Elephant Action Plan is fully owned and managed by the African Elephant Range states and outlines the actions that must be taken in order to effectively conserve elephants in Africa across their range.